Hey everybody, welcome to Star Ocean First Departure. I've never played this before, so it's supposed to be a rehash of the first Star Ocean, which never really came out in America, so here we go. We'll just go with Roddick. Planet Ise confirmed. Departing high density space at 1203. Set the coordinates to T50321. Roger. Putting Issei on screen. Something's wrong with the gravitational readings. There's a giant energy wave approaching us, sir, at high speed. The magnitude is 40.3 quadrillion joules, sir. Turn the ship about. Fire thrusters. Full power right away, and give me some warp coordinates. Look alive, people! Three, two, one. Well, there goes Alderaan. Here it comes. Activate anti-shock. Raise defense shields! <laughs> SD-346, an unknown power threatens to hurl us into a new age of civilization. Is it the will of the gods, or just the whimsy of fate? Whatever it is, the human race continues to advance into the great unknown, into what they call the Star Ocean. Space elves. What the? <sighs> Man, I'm bored. Hey, that's a good thing. It means all's well. What about Millie? What do you really think about her anyway? The fuck's Naruto doing here? What do you mean? <sighs> Let me give you a friendly warning. That girl's a total scatterbrain. She doesn't listen to anyone. <gasps> She's just a total nag. Oh, you can. Uh, oh, they're, Millie. An they're animal people. Listen, I, uh, meant... <laughs> you jerk! Yeah. If you've got time to complain about me, you've got time to work! There's nothing to do around here, Millie. Why don't you go out on a patrol, then? Come on, I'll join you. We can all do it yeah. together! Oh, uh, all right. Roddick, you come with us, too! Uh. It's settled, then! We'll all go together! Moment of truth! Sweet! The display driver didn't crash. Changing the sh settings actually worked. So... What button does what? Okay, why does that? Millie, Dorn... Dorn... Is it Dorn? Alright, what do we have on hand? Long sword, leather armor, wooden shield, leather greaves. Okay, that's speed up. Rod, robe, sandals. He looks like he's also some kind of fighter. Special arts and skill. What do you got? Jack shit. Set the active spells. Oh, well, she has heal. How about you, retard? You have nothing. Okay. Kind of reminded me of Star Ocean 2 a little bit. I played Star Ocean 2 on PlayStation ages and ages and ages ago. Item creation. No one has anything special. Specialty. No specialties. Super specialty! Of course you wouldn't have one of those. Fuck, why would you? So, Naruto here. Dorn Murtug. Roddick. Okay.
targeting auto. Camera position on leader. Equip wizard. Uh, fuck if I know. Tactics! What do you got? Focus on healing for. Okay, I'll leave that for now. Ah, reserve members. Orthodox formation line. All fighters stand in a line. Fighters are positioned in a rhomboid. Open formation. Let's do forward line because that puts me in the center. I'm the leader. Fuck you. Ah, hero tax. Blackberries. Om nom nom. Flare Bomb, Resurrection Elixir, looks like another hot day today. Hero Tax! Hmm? Hey, don't touch that. Music box suit means a lot to me. Believe it. I'm so glad Sheena's feeling better. It's all thanks to your father. Please give him my, rega my regards to Martoth when you see him. Hero tax! Well, he looks grumpy. Hey, grumpy. Millie, I hope you haven't been neglecting your symbology studies. Once I've retired, you'll be the only one who can take over for me. I know, Dad. You don't need to go on about it. If you ever hurt Roddick, I'll make you better with my special sparkle magic. Oh, thanks, Sheena. You're so sleepy, but Mom says I need to get up. She just won't leave me alone. I want to learn to cook, but I also love crafting and want to be able to play an instrument. But I'm not talented at all. Cheer her up. Sophia, it's not like you at all to give up so easy. You just need to work at it, and then you'll get better. You're right. Thanks, Billy. <clears throat> Thanks for all your hard work. You ain't got any money yet, so fuck off. Erotic, let's keep patrolling Kratos. Hmm, I haven't been to Cool uh Cooley in a while. If you ever happen to go that way, please give my regards to my friends. I'm old. I fought Space Diablo. Hey, thanks for all your work. Have you noticed anything strange or unusual going on? No, it's been nice and peaceful thanks to your efforts. <clears throat> A talisman, eh? Is that an accessory? Mystical talisman imbued with the powers of an unknown god that raised the wearer's defense. Oops. Um. That doesn't raise her defense, though. Oh, stamina eight. Hmm. Is 
Smitty Smithy. Remember, you kids are responsible for the safety of this town. Don't forget to equip your weapons at all times. Come on, we know that. Oh, hi, Roddick. How's your patrol going? Uh-oh. The main character has a mom here. We all know that... Whoops. Didn't mean to rest. Yeah, that's like it for mashing buttons. Oh, the main character has a mom in this town, which means it's probably going to get destroyed and or we're going to be banished and everyone we know and love are gonna, is going to die. Shut up, Naruto. What the? Ah, bandits! Bastards! Coming here in broad daylight! We've got to help them! Hurry! Let's go! I'm gonna kill your ass! Let's crush them. All right. Here they come. So Let's go. Put this wood. It activates menu. Take this. Take this. Hold B to select characters. Okay. Take okay, this. Hold, okay, X zooms out. Let's get moving. Ooh, blueberries. Let's go. Here they come. Here they come. They're putting up more of a fight than we figured, boss. Pathetic. Letting a couple of brats step all over us? Just wait till I show them! We aren't just any brats, I'll have you know. We're the official town defense force. And we're not about to let some punk swagger in here with this pack of gutless losers. Yeah, you guys wouldn't last two minutes in a fight. What? What did you say? Let's get him, boss! Okay. We got trouble! Be careful, everyone! Yeah! Bitch. Yeah. That one could have lasted longer. All right. Yay! I got one skill point. Oh, great! The power's flowing in me. Believe it. Whew. Thanks a lot, guys. Just doing our job, sir. Ooh, <laughs> how suave of you. That night. Ah, uh, chicka wah wah. I made some tea for you. Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy. <laughs> Those bandits hardly even put up a fight. What are you talking about? That was a pretty close call, and you know it. Something wrong, Roddick? You look a little off. Oh, he's just been moping around all the time lately. 
Well, see you later. Yeah. Hope you feel better tomorrow, Roddick. Thanks again, ma'am. Oh, certainly. Come back anytime. Being bored's a good thing, huh? Hmm. Is that Wanderlust I detect? Oh, I thought you were still sleeping. Did you have trouble falling asleep? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? You've been acting kind of strange lately. I don't want Millie and Dorn having to worry about you. Oh, stop worrying so much, Mom. I'll be back later. You jinxed it! You jinxed it! We have money. Can we buy stuff? Yeah, I remember, I already gave you my best shit. Made out of dead cow and hunks of iron. Dorn's already gone ahead to the Defense Force office. Going on patrol as always? Thanks, guys. Hmm, haven't been to that place. I'm repeating what I said last time. Space Diablo. Good morning, Roddick. Dorn already went inside. Hey, Roddick. The captain's waiting for you. Oh? Hey, Bord. Ah, <laughs> there you are, Roddick. <coughs> to business, then. What? Oh, damn it! I hit. It scrolled, and I hit a. You made us all proud here yesterday, revealing a bandit warlord with only the three of you, they tell me. The townspeople wanted me to give this to you. Here, take it. Ooh. Twice cooked pork. What the? Hey, this is Roddick's favorite food. Why does he get special treatment? Because you're Naruto and you suck. <laughs> it came from a fan of Roddick's. Uh, that's all I know. <laughs> well, regardless, keep up the good work, all of you. It's not like we get stuff like we had yesterday very often. This time be perfectly safe, even if we sat in our tails all day. Dorn, knock it off. Okay, so there are some auto scrolling text things. Hey, say the future's right for the three of you. Meat and vegetables fried in oil on high heat. Good stir fry. Always has better vegetables. Yeah. These are the. Oh, they only restore 22%? Huh. Let's take another hot day today. Rubba, rubba, rubba. Oh, it didn't stop us from leaving that time. Okay, so... What the fuck do I do? This looks bad. We got trouble! Shockwave swirl.
Liver is shockwave and a 360 degree arc. I don't know, might as well try it out. Yep. We have company. Keep forgetting what that Here they does. come! Boy, they were weak. Yeah, I'll run back into town. I was thinking like one more fight and we should get another level up, so... we have to go to the find this other town if you do these things stranger than usual I oh, know it's been nice and peaceful okay <coughs> don't worry I'm sure dad's watching over me Did you try the twice quick pork I made for you? I know it's your favorite, so it should really boost your energy. So you're the little chef who made that for me. Thanks, Sheena. Show to your symbology. Okay, so we know who the little chef is. I guess we had to go on a patrol and come back. You called for us, sir? Ah, Roddick. Good to see you here. We've got trouble. Take a look at this. A letter came in earlier. I didn't know we were Send help home. immediately. Mystery outbreak in Cool Village. Residents suffering from high fever. Mayor, cool village. So what do we do? We go help them out. That's what. Believe it. The herbs that grow on the peak of Mount Matorx ought to do the trick. Wait! Father! Leave this matter to me. Marta! Will you go on our behalf? Yes. I don't think we have much to worry about with this mystery outbreak. <laughs> well, if the best healer in all of Kratis is on the job, it'd be a tremendous relief to all of us. I'll be back in a little while, all right? Stay away from Mount Maytox. It's too dangerous for you. We're going to have to go save you, aren't we? Hmm, it looks like it's almost night time. Hmm. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Have a good night. 
Yes, sir. We'll let you know if anything's up. Come on, guys. Lighten up a bit. Millie, I know how you feel. But Roddick, you've been acting weird lately. What's wrong? You can tell us. Uh. Two days later... Hmm... Father still hasn't come back. I've got to find him. You're not going, all right? He said he'd call us if he needed us. But... But I can't just sit around and wait anymore. Roddick! Help! Monsters are trying to What's eat my that? asshole out! A powerful disease has struck cool. My methods are powerless against it, and even worse. I'm afraid I've contracted the disease myself. Casual skin contact is enough to spread the illness. It incubates for about an hour, but after it develops, the infected turn into stone in about three days' time. There is no hope for Cool. Do not approach it under any circumstances. Martoth, Cliet. Millie, wait! She's gonna head for Cool all by herself. We've gotta stop her. Millie, you're my healer. Come back. I don't want to be stuck with Naruto. That's what that button does. Here they come! God damn it, Dorn. Oh, spectacles. What the fuck is this? Celestial ship remains. Hmm. It looks sort of familiar ish. Anyway. What's wrong, Dorn? Nothing. It's nothing. Can I trade you in for Kakashi Sensei? Like the best episodes of Naruto are the ones where Naruto's not there or knocked on Here they come. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Coolsville. The sun never sets in Coolsville. There's Millie! After her! Don't touch me! I've already been infected. This town won't survive much longer. I've decided to spend my last few hours in this town. But there's an herb found in Mount Metorix that might save me. Sure, space people didn't just come down here and give you the common cold. This person's turned completely into a statue, but it still looks so very much alive somehow. Oh well, hey, if you're all petrified, you won't mind if I collect hero tags. 
So will the magic marijuana from the magic mountain turn stone people back to normals? Ooh, hero tax. Stay away from me! No matter what you do, don't touch me! Father... I am done for, Millie. And you won't let me sit by your side, Father? I can't even hold your hand? Oh. How can something like this happen? Plot? Roddick, Dawn, can you take my daughter back to town for me? Millie, let's go. Millie! I'm sorry, guys. Wait. Dorn? Planning to go off by yourself? Uh. You're going to pick some herbs off the peak of Mount Matorx, aren't you? Doesn't take a genius to see what you're thinking. But listen, you can't go into that hornet's nest. Not by yourself. I'm sorry. Come on, quit pouting. Huh? It'll be okay. Your dad'll be fine once we get those herbs. Yeah. But... This is terrible. I can't stand seeing you sad like this. Dorn? Millie, I want you to know something. I... I... Dorn? Dorn, what's wrong? Are you all right? Get away from me! N no, sorry. I'm fine. It's nothing. But you're... Hold tight just a minute. I'll go find someone. Roddick! Dorn just collapsed! Ah... Uh... Every time something comes up, what's the first thing out of her mouth? Rotic. Rotic. We need to go back to cool. Rotic, come with me. Dorn's in trouble. There's right, hero tags. I need to do hero tags. Oh. But fuck Naruto. The best episodes are when he's unconscious, and it's everybody else. They're more interesting right? and less annoying. Huh? What do you mean? You... but I just saw you... Stop jumping to conclusions. I was just a little lightheaded, that's all. I told you it was nothing. Roddick, don't you think we ought to go pick some herbs at the peak of Mount Matorx? Huh, that'll be just the thing for Millie's dad. Oh... Uh, yeah. Wish I knew when they were gonna auto scroll the boxes. Matorx lies due north of Cool. We'll need to watch ourselves. You said it. That's Fellworm territory up there. Well, if that's Fellworm territory. Oh, yeah, we did get a necklace. She needs some avoidance. Uh okay, fine. I won't buy anything, asshole. Really? There's a day night cycle.
Oh, there we are on the map. He's already turned to stone. I think you once told me that Mount Matrox is north of here. Hero tax. Man, you look grumpy. I told you not to come up here. But I had to go through there. Look out! Hang in there, everyone! Bunner Larbits! Watch out, guys. This place is swarming with fell worms. Ugh, they lay their eggs on you if you get too close, don't they? Yeah, it could get nasty if those eggs hatch. We got trouble! We can't lose this! That one could have lasted longer! Alright! The power's flowing in me! You guys alright? Yep. Make sure to brush off any fell worm eggs. Don't worry, I know. They wouldn't be such a problem if they didn't hatch so fast. Yeah. Really? Another one of you? Keep focused, everyone! Be careful, everyone! That one was easy. Over? <laughs> you can see a bit of a... You all right? Box around the water there. Don't touch me! What? I'm just worried about you. You don't have to yell at me like that. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. Wait, you didn't catch the... I must have caught it when I touched that carrier pigeon. <gasps> oh no! We better go back home. No, I'm fine. I haven't started turning into stone yet. But... I said I'm fine! Do you realize if you die, I'm taking your music sorry, box? But I'm fine, really. Besides, those herbs will cure me anyway, right? Let's get moving. Oh. 
Does that restore... Ooh, that restores MP as well. Now, I wonder if this is like the, like, fa or Star Ocean 2. There's the flower that we need. Oh. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here. There weren't any life forms here, Captain, when I scanned the area. Who are you? What do you want? Have you come here to take the herbs away from us? Where did you come from? Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, ...so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. Oh! Claude's dad. My name's Elia Silvestri. And please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're not your enemy. We're here to help you. Uh -huh. Before you say anything, I want to let you know that we are not your enemy. Really? Well, they sure aren't our friends. Not these strangers. Chill out, Naruto. We're here to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain, that's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't stop anyone from turning into stone. How... who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right, go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far away to save all of you. So why didn't you come sooner, then? We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. It's part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Early stages of development? We came here from beyond the sky, from another planet. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. Beyond the sky? Another planet? Are you gods? No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, uh, except without the tails. Oh, wow! Lazonia, a force opposing our own, broke the underdeveloped planet preservation pact recently, and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you, releasing the contagion that spread across this whole area. So we're turning into stone and it's because of those Lazonia guys? Correct. I, I can't believe this! We've been sent here to examine the disease and try to find a treatment for it. So you see, we've come here to help you. Probably in ways you've never imagined. I still can't believe any of this. But can you really help with the cure? I can't really believe it either. But if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Vaccine? Uh, a miracle medicine, sort of. Well then, there's something you ought to know before we go any further. If you folks decide to come with us, you'll probably never see this planet again. Why not? That's what the rules say. If you interact with us too much, we can't let you go back to your original life. That's another part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways, and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. 
You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that, Dorn. Millie, let's go with Dorn too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay here. I know it's hard leaving everyone you know in Kratos, but we've got a bigger job ahead. We're going to save everybody. Well, it's settled then. Might as well get going. Close your eyes for a moment, please. Huh? We're about to scatter your molecules all across space. Hmm, at least, uh, at least now I know where Roxas comes in at. Or, Rock, or, well, Kenny. What was that? Where are we? This is our ship. Ronix. <laughs> you really are gods. We're not gods. We've just advanced a little sooner than you, that's all. You can have all this for yourselves, too, someday. <sighs> well, let's get him over to sickbay. The floor! It's moving! And that door back there opened by itself! Incredible! I've never seen anything like this before! I just realized, I haven't asked any of your names yet. My name is Roddick Ferentz. I'm Millie Cliet. Dorn... Uh, Myrtle... Uh. Captain, his condition's deteriorating. Better hurry, then. What's this? I guess this must be surprising to you, but this is how we treat sick people. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a tour of the ship? Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? I'll be on the bridge. You show him around for me. Okay? No, oh, so he's a captain right now. Captain. Not a Commodore yet. Oh, brother. This may take a little longer. Stop lying to me and get back to your post. I'm not lying. I really feel awful. <coughs> See? Save point! Oh. Ah! Ha 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 Did it say Kalnus? Oh, we're on the Kalnus! Okay. <laughs> See that circle on the floor? That's the elevator pad. Elevator pad? That's how we travel between floors. But over, I can't get over there. Okay. This is the transporter room. We can teleport anything up to a certain size to anywhere within a hundred thousand mile radius. Scatter your molecules all over the place. Rah, 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 rah. Uh, the bridge is redded out, so I'm guessing we can't go there yet. Alright, let's see if we can... Can we just shoot Naruto out of the airlock? That's the exit of the Calmus. That door looks pretty strong. It needs to be. Beyond that door lies an ocean of stars, a world with no air. 
No air? That's what space is like. None of us would survive a minute outside this door. I'm studying astrophysics right now. I really wonder how this game actually plays out. Hmm. I wonder if I actually have to, like, get closer to the transporter. Watch out! The sensors are detecting an alien presence. must have latched onto us at Mount Matorx. Let's get them, Millie! Keep focused, everyone! Be careful, everyone! Shockwave swah ha ha Shockwave swah ha 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 Bitch! Boy, Wish they, they could have lasted longer! I can feel the power flowing! Excellent! Deep mist. And crush. Hmm, okay. It's gone. Huh? No, it isn't. See? It's right here. Hmm? You can still see it? The moment your blood touched it, it disappeared. Ilya. Take Roddick and Millie to sick bay. I'll meet you there. Yes, sir. Wait, where did that come from just now? We have these things called communicators. They let us talk to people even if we're far away from each other. Anyway, the doctor wants to see us. Let's head to sick bay. I'll get someone to clean up this mess. Is he cured? I don't know yet. Don't be in such a hurry there, miss. The doctor's just getting to that. Ahem. After a thorough investigation, I have isolated and analyzed the pathogen behind the disease. I'm afraid curing this illness is something that's beyond the ability of Earth medical science. But you've got all these amazing things! Can't you do something? Anything? The advanced medical technology at my fingertips is precisely what allows me to declare that this is an impossible task, young lady. This pathogen is in a constant state of flux, mutating at a truly breathtaking speed. Even if I could make a vaccine, it would lose its effectiveness in a matter of minutes. There is one possible method, however. Judging by the pathogen structure, I believe this to be a naturally occurring virus. So if we could track down the host, the original carrier of the disease, we could use the host's blood to create an immunity serum. So that'll work! I mean, would that work, sir? I believe so. But he'll be turning into stone within three days. That's nowhere near enough time to find the host. Oddly enough, the body's molecular structure seems to remain perfectly intact, even after the petrification process is complete. If we could just procure that serum, our patient should be able to make a full recovery. Well, that's something to work with anyway. It won't be easy, though. I doubt Lazonia is that eager to tell us where the host is. You're right. More importantly, though, I can't help but wonder, why did they even use this bioweapon on Planet Roke in the first place? 
Roke? The name we've given your homeworld. But Ely is right. I don't see how Lazonia benefits at all from turning everyone on Roke into stone. Doctor, are there any major differences between the anatomy of Rokians and other humanoid species on other planets? Well, let me think. Their basic organic muscular and nervous systems are highly similar to humans. But there is one rather striking difference. Their blood? Precisely. The structure of their blood vastly differs from our own. The most obvious point is the hemoglobin. In humans, it is iron-based, but in Rokians, it is copper-based. What are you getting at, Elio? This is just a possibility, but perhaps there is some benefit to petrifying the Rokians after all. Well, that would explain the motive behind dropping this bioweapon on their planet. Mm hmm? What kind of benefit? Mm, some kind of previously undiscovered matter, maybe. You mean what? A weapon? There is that possibility. In particular, I'm talking about something that's invisible. Something that wouldn't even show up on our sensors. So they're killing us off to make some kind of weapon for themselves? Well, we can't say that for sure yet. It would certainly explain a lot of things, though. If that's the case, and they must be removing the petrified bodies from Roke. Let's check that prospect out first. I'll be on the bridge. Doctor, run a simulation to see if petrifying their blood results in some sort of matter that can be used for offensive purposes. Are you sure? We're talking tens of thousands of combinations. There's no other way. We've got to find out. Very well. This is what I get for whining about how boring every day was. What are you talking about? You know this isn't your fault. Eh, oh, great. Don't go broody on me already. We're barely an hour in. Well, I don't know. I mean, look at me. If I just had more power, then maybe I could have done something. The captain wants you on the bridge. You can take the elevator to get there. Thank you. Ah, there you are. Elia has news for you. We compared the current number of petrified bodies with our previous figures. The number's gone down by about 200,000. How did they take all of them off the planet without us noticing? So it's true. We're not yet sure if they're building a weapon. But it sure is hard to imagine those bodies being used for peaceful purposes at this point. Sorry, that uh, didn't come out right. By the way, we're returning to Earth. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through our ambassadors and get Lazonia to hand over the host. Not that I expect them to be interested in negotiating with us in good faith. I'd like all of you to come with us and participate in the reports. Captain, Dorn's condition is worsening. I'll be right there. His vital organs have begun the petrification process. I'm afraid he's in critical condition. Dorn. Captain, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? If I'm going to die, I want it to happen in my own bed. You're not gonna die. You'll just be asleep for a bit. But what if you can't get that serum? <sighs> Please? All right. Get the transporter ready. Yes, sir. Please, let us go back with Dorn. I don't know. We'll come back. We promise. All right. 
I'll have Elia accompany you then. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I want Dorn transported directly into his bed, Doctor. This is a precision maneuver. Don't mess it up. <laughs> yes, sir. When you're ready, Elia. Yes, Captain. Well, let's just teleport the contagious motherfucker back into the healthy town. Hmm, copper blood. They're petrifying them. I don't know. Batteries? Furry batteries? Listen, mm. there was something I wanted to give you before I go. Oh, don't say that. You'll just be sleeping for a little while. Get the music box on that shelf for me. I'm giving that to you, Millie. But this is your sister's. I can't take this. Take it. Please. I gave that to... It's all right. I swear we'll save you. I know this is hard, but we've got to go. He needs your help. Yeah, now somebody comes, like, happens to wander in and say, Holy shit, Naruto's been right. petrified! And they touch him, and then this whole town's fucked. Well, at least he doesn't have to be We'll be party. beginning our trip to planet Earth shortly. There's a room set up for you, so feel free to get some rest. Just don't rock the boat too much. Thank you. Setting course for Sector Theta, point zero zero one, mark two six nine, warp six. Look, Millie, it's magnificent. Beautiful. It's like an ocean of stars. We're now entering orbit to report to the Terran Alliance HQ. Something's coming right for us! What... what is that? Where? What are you talking about? Klingons! They have a cloaking device! Whoa, where did that come from? Did it warp in or what? I don't think so, Captain. We did not detect any gravitational oscillation beforehand. I told you it was coming! You two were able to see it, Roddick? That's it! It's made of invisible matter! The entire ship? Captain! The unidentified ship that just appeared is hailing us. Open a channel. We come as emissaries from Lazonia. We have no desire to fight. Repeat. So, you're saying that Lazonia wants to sign an armistice with us? That is correct. We were not willing participants in the war against Earth. The rumors of a third party working in the shadows of Lazonia were true, then. A third party? Yes. They had us at the points of their swords. Their civilization is highly advanced. They were the ones responsible for the destruction of planet Issei half a year earlier. Hmm. They are the ones with the Death Star. We have little idea what their goals are, but they have provided us with a wealth of new technology, including the virus. I think I understand what's happening. 
Regarding the viral weapon that was dropped on planet Roke, we'd like you to provide us with either a vaccine or the original host of the disease, if you could. I'm afraid we cannot. We know that the virus has its origins in the Asmodeus, a creature that lived on planet Roke 300 years ago. Asmodeus? That's the Archfiend! The monster that was defeated in the Demonic Wars! The stuff of legend, huh? Neither the vaccine nor the host exist in this universe any longer. I'm afraid there is little we can do about Planet Rogue. No! There's nothing to be done now. If there's no ready solution to the problem, we'll simply have to quarantine the planet Roke. What? You want to just watch our planet die? Roddick, calm down. The hell with that? We've done so much. Traveled all this way to help out our friends. Can... Ugh. Can I have a stopping point, please? We have gone over. And now what are we supposed to do? We'll apparently have a cappuccino. Or a soda. Who would have imagined they got the virus off Roke 300 years ago? And just held it in storage all this time? There's no chance of finding the host now. The Alliance has decided to seal off Roke forever. There's nothing we can do but apologize. I'm so, so sorry. There is one chance. It's just extremely unlikely it will actually work. You... You aren't actually suggesting we head for Planet Styx, are you? I should have known you'd bring that place up. You'd have to be crazy to suggest that. I'll find a way to get us a ship. He is, well, the future Commodore. But, sir! There's still another or Commandant option? or something. Well, I hesitate to call it that. But if we use the time gate on Planet Styx, there's a small chance. But, Captain, you know the risks. Please tell us. We've got to know. Jesus fucking Christ, can I have a stopping point, please? I didn't hear please? any deployment orders, Captain. Well, I have. Let us through. Yes, sir. All set here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. Right. Close the entry hatch. Are two people enough for this? Oh, yeah. The computers do most of the work. Computer? Yeah. Um... How to explain it? Basically, uh, they're these tools that help people out with the uh, difficult parts of their jobs. Anyway, let's get this thing off the ground. You do realize, Captain, that going to Planet Styx is all but guaranteeing ourselves a court-martial. Yep, worst case scenario, we'll all be in a labor camp for the rest of our lives, but too late to turn back now. <laughs> <laughs> all the bad luck in the world, I get stuck with you for a commanding officer. <laughs> Captain Keddy, the jackass! I'm sorry. <laughs> You don't have to apologize. I may have a ton of bad luck, but that doesn't mean I'm reluctant to visit Planet Styx. I'll follow wherever you go, Captain. Just try not to lead me astray, alright? Huh. What is Planet Styx, anyway? It's a planet, just like Earth or Rogue. We stumbled upon it during an earlier deep space exploration mission. 
They say that Planet Styx was home to a vastly advanced civilization, long before we humans even made it into space. Actually, we know next to nothing about them. But we're gonna fiddle-fuck with their technology, because why not? And that's where that time thing is? The Time Gate. We'll use it to visit Roke in the past. The past? Oh! So if we go back in time, we can retrieve the blood of Asmodeus. Then we can make the medicine we need, right? In so many words, yes. But we still haven't fully unraveled how the Time Gate works. It's too dangerous to mess with, so it's been made strictly off-limits. But this is Captain Kenny we're talking about. Fuck it! <laughs> Let's fiddle-fuck with time! We'll be within orbiting range of Planet Sticks shortly. Right. Will it let us in, though? The Time Gate Guardian. The Living Gate. Seriously? According to the Lazonian Emissaries, a mysterious third party obtained the virus on Roke. Apparently, it all happened several hundred years ago. That it did. The level of technology they have must outclass anything we could even imagine. We'll have to travel through time to a point before they visited Roke and collect a portion of the host's body. Assuming, of course, the gate will let us through in the first place. Oh, Guardian of the Time Gate! Please lend an ear to our humble request. We seek your guidance to the world of 300 years past. We wish to visit Roke as it was in olden times. I am the Gatekeeper. Your request has been granted. Let us open the Gate to the Past. We did it. We need to leave our weapons and communicators here before we enter. If you bring them along, you'll bounce off the Gate. Well, here we go. I hope that we're not making a mistake by entering the gate, because once we go inside, there's no turning back. Right, here we go. Ah! Just so hang tight, Dorn! We're gonna save you, but you gotta hang on! Hold on, your clothes are too new. <laughs> Oh, this isn't gonna fuck with anybody. Said, "Hey, what's up, people? We just warped into your town." Are you all right, Ilya? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Where is everyone else? I don't see them anywhere. They should be around here. Maybe. Then again, me tripping back there threw off our timing pretty badly. There's a chance we're a good distance away from each other. Well, we picked a good place to appear. Let's go look for them in this village first. Hang on. I, I just realized this outfit probably isn't gonna work here. You're right. You'd stick out like a sore thumb. I'll go look around. Why don't you wait here? I'll go find something for you. What's your measurements? Sorry for the trouble, but imagine what the captain must be going through. <laughs> Helly. Well, good luck then. 
He probably just like, well, this call, these calls aren't going to work. Hang on a second, just strip down. Where's your tail? Right here. I got front tail. <laughs> well, first things first. I've got to find some women's clothing. <laughs> okay, then. That went a little bit over time. Anyway, I will catch you guys next time. Adios.